Good morning, everyone. We are headed to my midwife no, appointment. Yet. I'm bringing the boys with me today, just in case my water breaks or I go into labor. That way, Patrick would be able to drive Hopefully. me. Yeah, because I am officially 40 weeks plus three days pregnant now, which is longer than I went with Axel by a day. So we're headed there. This is my 40 week appointment. And then, uh, you know, hopefully it will be my last appointment before I actually go into labor because I'd really love not to be 41 and a half weeks pregnant next week. But we will see. It's heartbeat time. She feels like she's growing to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't think we've got a big. Right. Chunky baby in here, but yes, you do have some growth. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> It's round and has three yeah. hands. No, no, I <laughs> Mommy's round and has four hands. There! <laughs> uh, well, that's round and it has three legs. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Not hands. Not hands. You want me to tell you? Uh-huh. Okay. See up there? Oh, yeah. It's a clock. I saw that clock before you that. Did, yeah. Did you know that those are called hands? The little things? Yeah. So I you didn't know so that. I okay. saw well, that's it not first. fair. <laughs> so I saw it before I guessed. Yeah, well you couldn't have guessed because you didn't know they were called hands. <laughs> So we just got back from the midwife and we got a special delivery in our mail that I've been waiting for for a while. This is Mother Dirt uh, shampoo and uh, cleanser and then a body mist. And now this body mist has good bacteria in it. It is just changing the way that we clean our bodies because when we typically clean our bodies with the average soap or whatever, you're stripping all the good bacteria off of your body. So this mist actually contains a lot of the good bacteria so it works in combination with your skin and helps to make everything more in line and work together so i'm really really excited to start trying it hopefully it will like reduce body odor and just help the health of our skin obviously which that's the goal we've been actually having this discussion about how we strip our skin for years and uh, it's nice that there's actually something available for us now i'll let you guys know how it goes when uh, we start testing it out there he is all right pick him up let's see him like, no thanks. Axel, <laughs> little bug friend. <laughs> see, he has wings. He has wings too, huh? Yep, I see. Them. And uh, if you find one of these bugs or an interesting bug, just show us. Show us, yeah. <laughs> On a video. That would be cool. Like, start. Start a YouTube channel to show us their bugs. For the past hour, I have been having some contractions. Uh, not uncomfortable really at all, just feel like Braxton Hicks contractions, but they've been coming a lot more frequently, which hasn't happened to me up until now. Like I tracked them for a while, about 20 or 30 minutes, and they seem to be anywhere from five to seven minutes apart. But I'm just kind of keeping an eye on them. We're actually going to go for a walk and hope that this is the start of labor because it would be awesome to have a baby tonight or in the morning. Hey. Are, you are you nervous? Yeah, a little bit. Nervous, but nervous? I can do it. I'll get through it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. I found this cocoon out here. It looks like there's a giant butterfly trying to emerge from it. That's what it seems to be. <laughs> Are you coming out, butterfly? Oh, uh, it could be days. You never know. I see something. It's moving. What's happening? Oh, <gasps> the head of the butterfly has emerged. Oh, will it fly away? Will it fly away? Butterfly because it has a nose. Okay, oh my goodness, that's the creepiest butterfly I've ever seen. <laughs> it's wriggling out. Its wings are breaking free. Oh my goodness, will it fly away? It's the largest butterfly I've ever seen in my whole life. And then pretend it made another cocoon again. <laughs> okay. okay. And it made another cocoon. You have to zip it up. This doesn't make any sense. You have to zip oh, it up. Oh, I have to zip it up. Okay. Alright. 
Alright, well I guess I'm leaving. If there's not going to be a butterfly coming out of there, I'm just going to go away. Oh, it's head showing, but it's done that before. I doubt it's actually going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and close it. Oh, the wings are out. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, well, if it doesn't fly away soon, I'm going to go. Oh my goodness, it's flying away. What? I want to catch it. I want to catch the butterfly. I want to catch it. I want to catch it. It'll be the world's biggest butterfly. It's on a tricycle. A butterfly on a tricycle? No. Bye, butterfly. Fly away home. <laughs> I'm gonna catch me a butterfly. <laughs> Bye, butterfly. Fly away. Be free. <laughs> hey, There's a monkey in a tree. Hey, I'll climb up to the top of the tree and jump onto the concrete. <gasps> Yikes. That sounds painful. What you making there? A late I'm night snack? Making a late night snack. <laughs> making some organic sweet potatoes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a little yeah. bit of. See, she's smiling. Those yeah. look super oh, nutritious. <laughs> With some candy on top. <laughs> Axel picked out two heirloom apples. Like, this is from Washington. I'm not sure if the other one is. This is called a Mutsu or a Mutsu. M U T S U. And I just tasted it. Best apple ever. That's what happens when you get actual good heirloom variety fruits. As soon as we move to Washington, I'm planting a ton of heirloom fruit trees. So. This one's called a white winter pearmain apple. I'll wait till tomorrow to eat that, but yum. We went to the park earlier and nothing ended up happening with the contractions. They just kind of went away. So now we've been back home. Axel's asleep. I can't sleep. I have bad insomnia. I just want to have this baby at this point. Patrick's trying to hurry up and edit videos because I could go into labor at any time. And I'm just trying to go into labor. Not doing anything, but but just thinking about going into labor. <laughs> I'm trying to end the videos and toast me some marshmallows. Wow, that is a little bit excessive, partner. That's a lot of marshmallows. <laughs> All right, so we better say goodnight, and then if anything happens, we will record yeah, tomorrow's we'll vlog. You know. All right, peace out. Bye, guys. Come Thumbs on, up baby. this video, and we will see you soon.